startups. Everyone on Twitter right now is crying because all of their thinly wrapped startups, um, AI startups are now obliterated due to the open AI updates because now you can upload your own files. So all the PDF talker SaaS companies that were charging people to upload their files and talk to their PDFs are done now because now you can do that through ChatGPT directly um, in a nice user interface. Um, this potentially also targets um, Stack AI, Voice Flow, even FlowWise and the like. Uh Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I have an exciting video. As I'm sure you're all aware, OpenAI had their dev day yesterday, November 6th, and they released a ton of updates. I want to fixate on the assistance API, but before that, the new GPT-4 Turbo model, which is a more capable version with a reduced cost structure, and an expanded context window support of 128K was introduced. So now it has 128K context window. Um, for reference, the highest was 32K. For GPT-4, Claude has 100K. Um, token support um, so now it's 128 for gpt4 turbo and the turbo for in the gpt4 implies of this 128k um, increase and plus it's a faster model so it spits out text a little bit faster just like gpt 3.5 turbo does so now there's developer of tools and sessions so the conference showcased a range of new tools and capabilities for the ai chatbot it also featured breakout sessions for ai developers led by open ai technical staff so the session stuff there's a thing called threads now so developers don't have to manually record conversation history and pass it along to the api and constantly do that now open ai does it for you through threads so if you go here and you click threads shows you conversations with their own serial numbers so you can keep track of conversations without having to give them the conversation history manually so they deal with all the conversation memory so then there's knowledge updates so an update to the existing model gpt 3.5 was mentioned indicating a knowledge update up to january 2022 so previously i think it was till 2021 December-ish, if I'm not mistaken, something along the lines. And then it has an introduction of new models and developer products. OpenAI introduced various new models and developer products aimed at enhancing the accessibility. This includes new features and lots for customization for the chat GBT. Okay, um, I'll just break that in for a bit. Yeah, this is just GBT, so people are allowed to now create their own custom chatbots, and then when the marketplace comes out, you can post it on the marketplace and potentially earn some revenue from that. That's going to be a big opportunity that's why I want you guys to focus on that and I'm going to be posting a lot more content around this new updates and how to build these type of chatbots that we can probably sell once the marketplace goes live we have to take in consideration this is a new product it's going to be a big vacuum of space and opportunity for people to make money um, just like the early days of the app store and Apple's products okay so I just want to keep that out there it's a big opportunity you guys don't want to miss out so please subscribe and stay tuned if you want to be a part of that I want to focus more on assistance though because now you can create your own assistance this potentially kills all um, AI startups everyone on Twitter right now is crying because all of their thinly wrapped startups, um, AI startups, are now obliterated due to the open AI updates. Because now you can upload your own files. So all the PDF talker SaaS companies that were charging people to upload their files and talk to their PDFs are done now because now you can do that through ChatGPT directly um, in a nice user interface. Um, this potentially also targets um, Stack AI, Voice Flow, even FlowWise and the like, obviously, and Langchain as well. Obviously, this is going to be still uses for those products, but um, for most cases, people are just going to use this. Um, you can even add um, functions your assistants um, and they even have some examples here get weather and get stock so you can have your assistant do things actions through the functions and it's fairly no code setup because you can type the name instructions choose the model gpt4 turbo that's the model and then you can add a function if you like and then you can turn on code interpreter for your assistant and retrieval as well as upload files um, so that's a game changer in and in of itself um, and then you can share this with people as well. And then once the marketplace comes out, you can even have it there. So like potentially you can have the car salesman that we made in the previous video that we did on bot press and voice flow. You can do it through here, um, and which is going to be better because it's going to be a more um, dynamic conversation rather than a more fixated conversation. Like um, we can upload the stock of the not even the stock we can just upload a function that checks the api for for stock based on what the user wants so we can natural language code it in a way that will allow the user to buy a car from us like as if the chat bot is a salesman and then it can even we can add a function as well for appointment setting um for test drives and things of that nature if you guys want a video on that let me know i'll probably make one anyway just to show you guys how to do things like that um the most impressive thing though is going to be the assistance api because this takes the playground to a whole nother level so if you if you're interested in coding or anything like you don't have to be a professional coder um 
that's I'm not, but I still use it. I have a property manager bot that I coded, um, but now this is a game changer. I'm going to incorporate the assistance API into that because now we can use the threads and other updates that they provided to make make a more efficient model. Okay, so this is the game changer right here because it was so much flexibility. So that's probably the next step um, for my property manager bot that I'm going to be incorporating in the next couple of days. Um, I'll post a lot of videos in the next coming weeks about using this assistance API to build complex chatbots um, and potentially help you guys sell. Because this kind of puts a nail in the head for all AI automation agencies due to the fact that they basically allow anybody to go and upload their files and program their own chatbot, how we are doing it for them in voice flow, stack AI, flow wise and bot press. This kind of eliminates that whole need for them. Okay, but obviously we still need like you can use assistance API and call it from within voice flow. Um, but uh, honestly, I think that old way of, of chatbots being static is going to be dead and it's going to be more of a dynamic approach just like chat GBT is. Okay, so um, just something to keep in mind. It's going to be a short video. That's all for today. I just wanted to showcase some of the things that um, some uh, thoughts that I had and some of the updates that they have done. Um, please let me know what you guys want. You guys want me to build. Um, and then I'll try to build it for you guys using these, these new updates, particularly the Assistance API, which is quite a fascinating innovation. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.